The stock market is rigged, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we pulled off a $10,000 SPY, zero DTE, zero day option trade using rigged AI. All right, people, we're looking at June 20th on SPY. We open 549.42, and what is it? I mean, it's nothing. It's a small move up, move down and then chop right here at the strike. You know, the interesting thing when this happens, human psychology, whatever, 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 is telling you we are gonna rip up here or here. If you were looking at single stocks during that time, Apple, Nvidia, Tesla, Microsoft, they were all going up right? It looks very bullish, but this is what Wall Street does best. Convince you, hey, it looks like one thing, this is what's going to happen, when ultimately the first move is down, and then we're just chopping at the 549 strike, failing to break the blue line, which is the open price. And anytime you move down, come back up to the blue, and it'll just fly through it. Probably going to get crushed. So we held one. We took the trade about here, and then we added in probably right here. We can show you. Held this thing through a nasty drawdown. The only reason why we did that was because when you get here to the blue line, there are no bull bombs. That means Wall Street is not betting in large size that the market's going to go up. And when you see three bears and the fourth one coming right here, you have to go with it, right? Because volume's elevated. When we're looking here, this is 120%. You can see it on the side. So 127%, we bought the 547P put. And why would you buy 547? That's all the way down to here. Because high volume, tradability, easy mode, we expect to get three strikes whenever it breaks. So you get a small move down, right? That's our bias, especially since no bulls are coming in. This is where they kill people who are late buying calls. And then this is the real move. And uh, it was absolutely amazing to see that work. But if you didn't do that, here's the thing, very important. High win rate with edge right here. But it's like, you need to know that you were late. You were looking at a move from 5, you know, 49 to 546. These bear bombs are coming in at the intraday bottom. You are late. And if you can tell that you're late and you just wait a second, it's like, hey, the first red candle that actually happened here, you would have printed money, broke below 546, gotten out. This was also a very good trade. And the thing is, Wall Street actually does a very good job of letting you get out. And this is what I mean. Let's say we're taking the bull bomb here, high win rate with edge. I mean, you're looking at all this time at 548. It's like you have, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 minutes to get out. If it's going to push, it just pushes. In this case, you got a nuke. Last two bear bombs. 
high win rate, high probability. It's like, this is late. We wanted these bear bombs to happen, right? Like, up here. And they didn't. And that's okay.